Hello and welcome everyone to another demonstration video of today's. So today we'll be looking at a tool that is very widely recognized in your uh, bioinformatics. So and it is used for your multiple sequence alignment. Okay. So you have your pairwise sequence alignment where you can uh, align two sequences to look for its evolutionary relationship or evolutionary basis. Okay. And how closely or distinctly related those particular sequences are or species are basically okay and if you are doing the same for more than two uh, what do you say sequences okay so more than two or more than three basically okay and uh, so that will be called as a multiple sequence alignment and the number can go to n number okay and obviously some of the tools have some restriction to incorporate uh, let's suppose what uh, tool we are looking at today is uh, cluster w okay so cluster w is the tool that we are looking at today so if you want to download the cluster w tool so you can obviously go over here so you have all the cluster family tools that are your cluster w cluster x cluster omega so there is not much of a difference the uh, method employed in that is a bit different and the visual representation of the output is a bit different otherwise they all take input in fasta genmeng format and give output in your cluster w format that is the most recognized format uh, for your particular uh, reading multiple sequence alignments okay so that is about the uh, tool okay so you can go inside this and you can hit on download as per your system configuration you can do that okay else if you want to you utilize the web server you can directly go to genome net okay so i will show you via some example okay so here you have the cluster w mapped so other uh, tools for your doing the same thing that is your multiple sequence alignment that you can do okay so here you have your pairwise alignment option so you want to go fast or approximate because if it is fast it is approximate and if it is slow it will be more accurate okay but most of the time we want a fast and approximate result okay so it is not that it is not having accuracy but the accuracy is a bit low but uh, we will get a fair bit of idea that how closely or distinctly related those species are okay species are basically two or three sequences are okay in this case obviously more than three we are talking about uh, as we are talking about multiple sequence alignment okay so you can choose between the nucleic acid sequences or nucleotide sequences you want to take or basically uh, amino acid sequences you want to take so you can hit on protein or dna likewise whatever you want okay for today's example we will take some proteins okay and we'll try to align them using cluster w and later on we'll also look at how to construct a phylogenetic tree out of that okay so we'll take some exemplary data okay and for that obviously you can have the fastas or multiple faster sequences you can copy paste in a word file and you can upload that over here that is also possible and you can directly paste over here also okay what are the supported formats it is already written over here okay so let's get back to another opening another tool for that matter so we'll be opening pdb in this particular case because we are looking for protein okay so we'll take some closely related proteins basically uh, okay so we'll uh, use a search term and whatever the proteins are coming we'll try to see are there any similarities between them or not okay so let's suppose we take a spike protein for that matter okay spike protein if we uh, like start off with okay or let's suppose we talk about a spike glycoprotein uh, like glycoprotein maybe okay so spike glycoproteins okay uh, so here you can see different type of uh, spike proteins has come in okay so of different obviously most of the time you will see that uh, different viruses have their own uh, spike proteins you can see different uh, type of viruses or different resolutions um, based images different uh, procuring techniques are being used over here so i will take uh, randomly i will take uh, two or three out of it okay so let's go to the first one okay so you can go to display files okay simply you will get the faster over here simply copy it okay i will just copy or control c also you can do control c control v all will also work you paste it over here okay this is the first sequence here you can see faster starts with this particular sign okay so this is the first sequence and i am trying to do for do it the do the same for the second one okay so let's suppose i go back to the sequence and this is the next one okay uh so this is the next one is having and very few minute changes so i will take the third one instead okay so i'll take the third one and here i will go to again 
fasta sequence okay so this is from sars cov2 so here you can see no sars cov pardon okay so copy it again paste it over here okay so that is about the second sequence okay we'll do the same for the third one okay so uh, three is the bare minimum for multiple sequence alignment because if you are doing it for the two anyways pairwise alignment can do it easily okay either by your global or local approach okay so let's take the third one so bare minimum we are taking because i'm uh, like showing you by an example so yeah so i'll go to display uh, again faster format same thing uh, so just copy paste and you can do it for many because uh, what is the maximum limit that uh, cluster w holds is 4000 4000 sequences likewise you can paste one after another okay here you can see one two three sequences are being pasted over here okay so you can obviously have all the sequences pasted in a file and you can upload i have uh, told you uh, prior uh, priorly also okay if you want to change some of the parameters because here only the defaults will work okay if i hit on execute over here okay but if you want to look at like uh, how you can change all the parameters so this are different what do you say different type of matrices you want to use okay pam blossom does that okay so obviously you can make some changes uh, from here okay for that you need to do some study okay so i will not directly mention this particular part okay but just for a beginner you can obviously go by the default parameters that are there okay so you can just hit on execute multiple alignment and it is that fast okay here you can see because we are going for fast and accurate here you can see this uh, this is the alignment and the file is in dot alien dot alien is the format of alignment format okay so multiple sequence alignment and this particular format is called as your cluster w output format okay so cluster w output format is having a connotation of uh, symbols like this one asterisk will signify that all the sequences are same or basically this are conserved sequences or identical how you see that this uh, this uh, like uh, what do you say 30 percent 40 percent identity is there so this is called as your identity the asterisk so you can here you can see the exact sequences are like amino acids are exactly the same then you have your conservative mutation non-conservative mutation okay then in between you can you might also encounter some of the gaps that are there okay so obviously the uh, sequence length are not uh, same okay so the second sequence is i think yeah is it is the largest one okay so that is why it starts from here and the other ones starts wherever it finds the best configuration based on that okay so here you have the so by this means we can see that how much of it is conserved so there is obviously a relationship between all the three sequences but how related they are okay so if you want to understand it by a other means uh, by the help of your phylogenetic tree you can obviously go and select different tools over here here you can see at the bottom corner here you can see if i select a fast tree that is a tool to execute your uh, what do you say get your phylogenetic tree so i will hit on execute okay and it will take a few seconds or so okay and it will give me a tree okay tree is basically just like a phylogenetic tree it, it can be a rooted tree unrooted tree or uh, like okay so um, middle rooted tree okay mid rooted tree it can be okay so yeah here we are getting a midpoint rooted tree because at the start you see there is no root it is a uh, uh, unrooted it is starting from but here you have a root okay so you can like without the leaf labels you can uh, like obviously do okay or with the labels you require and you can uh, download it in different formats possible over here okay in fasta also dot fa you can download dot um, nwk you can download or in the form of images also in the like a png format json format you can download the results in okay so that is about the phylogenetic tree so we have seen today we have taken an example of the protein we have uh, like uh, seen its um, evolutionary connections okay and the sub branches and also that you need to understand so that is about the quick demonstration of your multiple sequence alignment tool called cluster w okay so that is all about it today so see you on the next one okay if you have any questions comment down below and do comment that what do you want to see next that is all from my side thank you and have a nice day yeah